Hello and a very warm welcome to BBC World News. Millions of people around the world will soon be on the move to travel home or to go on holiday during the festive period. But for a second year running, there will be COVID testing that has to be done and certificates that must be produced before you can get on a plane or in some cases travel by train or other public transport. France is, from Saturday, restricting entry for people travelling from the UK, banning tourism and business trips and introducing quarantine and testing for the few who can enter for limited reasons. So it's a pretty complicated picture and to navigate some of this we're going to be answering your questions on travel right now with Lisa Minot, travel editor from the British newspaper The Sun. And we're also joined by Tiffany Smith, a travel journalist based in Chicago. Thank you both very much indeed for joining me. These are questions that we've had from our audience around the world. I'm going to start with you, Lisa, and Joe asks this one. As France has introduced new restrictions for travel from the UK, was this also going to affect travel on the Eurostar to Belgium, given that the Eurostar trains travel through France on the way? Uh, and there is a stop in Lille. What's going to happen? Well, it's not entirely clear, but I would say that reading the rules that we have um, seen at the moment, it probably is not the case that you can use this service because, as you say, it does stop in Lille um, and that this will not be allowed. Um, at the moment, the French have said that it's only um, so basically transiting through airports that will be allowed. Um, and it doesn't. It says that any kind of road or rail is not allowed. So unfortunately, I think that's going to be the case. Um, however, there are other ways to get to places like Belgium. You and take a ferry, of course, into um, the likes of Rotterdam, Amsterdam, um, or as well, if you're trying to get into Spain, we've got ferries going down into Santander and Bilbao. Yeah, Lisa, thanks for that. I guess that is a signal already of how complicated the situation yeah. can be. This one also for you, Lisa. Uh, it's from Tim. He says, we have a property in France which is undergoing major building work. Is this a compelling reason which would allow us to enter France? And um, what does having a registered home in France mean in terms of the rules? Unfortunately, it doesn't. Um, as much as you know, you would think that this would be a case, and it was in the last sort of set of restrictions, um, people were able to travel if they were having work done at homes they owned in France. This particular reason it says, no, it's not possible. So if you own a home in France but are not a resident in France, it's only residents who will be allowed entry. So if you're a resident and have a home in France, that's fine. If you are not a resident and you're just having building work done to a house you own in the country, unfortunately, that is not included in the rules and you will not be allowed entry. Right. Well, Tim, I hope you can trust your builders because you're not going to be seeing them for a while. Uh, Tiffany, I've got a couple for you now. Uh, first one, do fully vaccinated people need to take a pre-departure test when travelling to the United States? The answer is yes. So under the new travel restrictions, though, everyone ages two or older, whether you are vaccinated or not, whether you are a U.S. citizen or not, has to submit a negative COVID-19 test one calendar day prior to traveling to the states. Obviously, um, in months past, you had more time, about 72 hours. But under these new travel restrictions, you have one calendar day prior to boarding your flight to submit a negative COVID-19 test, whether you are vaccinated or not. Right. So that's the test. And the follow up to that is do under 18 children need to be vaccinated to get into the U.S.? Well, the U.S. is requiring all uh, non-citizens to be fully vaccinated. However, children under 18 do uh, are they are the exception to that rule. Um, so they they again, they are the exception, but they may be subject to uh, other protocols once they arrive in the state, which means they may have to take a COVID-19 test um, three to five days after arriving in the states and um, self quarantining whether they are positive or not. Um, if they test positive for um, COVID-19, they may have to self-isolate. So I would uh, suggest checking the CDC's website for those rules. But the short answer is uh, children under 18 are the exception. Right. Well, we've got plenty more to get through. So brief answers, if you would, both of you. Lisa, this one for you from Jane. Does a COVID recovery certificate exempt you from needing a PCR test when you enter the UK? 
No, it doesn't. Um, a PCR test is, act well, it's not a PCR test. Um, to enter the UK, so what we call the pre-departure test um, for British citizens coming into the UK from abroad or for other, you know, residents, other people coming in from abroad, um, you cannot show that certificate. You have to have either a lateral flow or a PCR test negative result taken within 48 hours of arriving in the UK. All right. Uh, quick one for you, Tiffany. The Sinovac, uh, Chinese vaccine, is that acceptable for traveling into the US? No, at this particular point in time, only the BioNTech, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are accepted for travel to the US. Right, that's clear, thank you. Lisa, what happens if someone on your flight to the UK tests positive? Would uh, close contacts of yours, when you land, then have to isolate? Well, if you um, if you are actually um, positive yourself, then yes, your close contacts obviously would have to isolate. Um, but if you're fully vaccinated, um, you, they do not have to um, actually sort of self-isolate as well. Um, but obviously, it'd be a very good idea for everybody to take lateral flow tests on a regular basis. Um, the current rules are that you don't have to self-isolate if you've been fully vaccinated and you are not the one who is actually testing positive. Right. And just a quick one again on the UK France situation, which clearly is concerning many people. It's about uh, sort of reverse travel. Sharon in France, Lisa, she wants to know are we allowed to visit our family in the UK who we haven't seen for two years? We are French residents, but it's not clear to me if we can travel from France into the UK. Well, French residents can, yes, that is completely allowed under the rules. There are then going to be testing that you're going to have to do to get back into France and self-isolation. Um, those rules will still remain in place, but you can go from France to the UK and back again as a French resident. Tiffany, here's one for you. The US still bans flights from eight Southern African countries because of Omicron. Is that ban expected to be lifted anytime soon? Good question. Um, I know President Biden has come under some criticism for the uh, ban of the African countries. And I'm also aware that other countries are now lifting the ban. At this particular point in time, we do not know um, if the ban will be lifted anytime soon. Obviously, um, President Biden has said in weeks past that he is still doing research as it pertains to uh, the Omicron variant. So it is at this point, point we are just uh, on a wait and see approach. All right. Now, this is the, the last one you two may be relieved to know because it is all very complicated. But uh, Lisa, it's back to you. It's again back to the complications traveling in Europe. Rima asks, I'm currently holidaying in Spain, but I plan to drive across the border into France for Christmas to visit relatives. Is this allowed under the new rules? Are all Brits banned without a compelling reason? Or is it just Brits traveling to the UK directly from France? Well, at the moment, the rules are that it's only EU citizens that can actually transit through France. And even then, they have to make sure they've taken the tests that are required um, and that they are proving where they're going to. They're going back to their place of residence. So technically, this would not be allowed under the new rules that France have put in place. Goodness me. It is indeed very complicated this Christmas time. Thank you both very much for joining Thank me you. and explaining how the rules, uh, at least some of them, are going to work over the next few weeks. Uh, thanks to Lisa Minot from The Sun and to Tiffany as well, joining us from the United States.